Welcome in the This is the second part of our interview uh, with Hayden Otto. Welcome back. <laughs> so before we go into more technical details, I promise, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we want to talk about the most recent event in two very important markets that, care, uh, that is uh, important for both of us. So which is the uh, gold and silver market comparing to the Bitcoin cash market. Yeah. And Hayden, I'm not sure if you know that recently, not too long ago, just a couple, uh, a couple of days ago, I made a video showing some of Bitcoin, uh, sorry, uh, silver bullion in my hand and telling people I want to sell yeah. my silver bullion for more Bitcoin cash. Because I was very convinced that silver is not going to do well in the short term. And I might as well just take the silver that I have in hand, turn them into more Bitcoin cash. And, and I got completely banned in quite a few <laughs> silver forums. And in the Wall Street server, people calling me scammers, calling me crypto shillers, calling me any names you can think of. Those are the nice names they call me. They are much worse right. names. So, Hayden, I want to take your um, view on this because you are also investing in silver too, right? Yeah, I have some silver. Yeah. It's mainly Bitcoin Cash though. Of course, same as me. <laughs> uh, for me, silver represents a fail safe. It's yes. like a backup plan. Just in case something really, really terribly bad happens, like we have no electricity for three weeks in a row. Well, Who knows? that's the reason why I have silver, yeah. Yeah, basically. that's exactly, yeah. exactly. And it's also why my silver uh, is actually in physical form. Is there some yes. paper silver, which is very important in case you're watching me because you know me from the silver channel. And remember the only silver that's valid is the silver in your hand. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't buy uh, bullion any other way. Exactly. It kind of defeats the purpose, I think. So. Exactly. Exactly. So from my perspective, I should have enough silver on hand that can last me about a month of cost of living, just in case something goes wrong. But I recently saw the simple fact that silver is really seriously under attack. And uh, I suspect uh, the Wall Street Silver movement might not have been able to succeed as they think they can do like with AMC or GME. And what do you, what's your take on that? The Wall Street Silver guys? Yes. Oh, well, when that came about, I was like, I was all for it. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do yes. it. And uh, I like, I don't know, a week later, it was pretty clear it had uh, fizzled out. It wasn't really going anywhere. So um, any positions I was in long, I exited at that point. <laughs> wow, that, you're smart. And uh, yeah, it went down a fair bit from there, but it did recover just recently. Yeah. Um, and now it's down again, but uh, in the last day. So, but I still have uh, uh, all my physical holdings that I yeah. had previously. I haven't touched any of that stuff. Well, uh, obviously Hayden here is a bit more of a trader than I am. I'm, I'm too old for trade. So he is young and dynamic. I'm old and uh, physical out already. Right. That's the reason I don't trade my stuff. So uh, you are actually right. It, uh, the uh, silver itself did not pick up as much esteem as any other investment the Wall Street people wants to push. So I, on the other hand, I'm the old school. So I thought I would just support them as much as I can. I signed up as early as I could and I made a lot of video about those things. However, I really didn't gain any traction whatsoever. And this is the honest truth. And that was also the sign for me to see, okay, social media is not picking it up properly. People are not as enthusiastic about silver. I actually had a silver meetup here in Brisbane that had a silver meetup in Gold Coast. Do you know how many people came? Who knows? One. Oh, so it's just you. No, no, one, <laughs> one guy I did not know. And then uh, even my friends didn't want to come. Yeah. Yeah. But even the the very first meetup for... Uh, well, that's good news for yeah. Bitcoin Cash, right? Yeah. When we can get... Yes, uh, yes. There was like at least 30 people at no, the was 30 Gold plus. Coast. It was 30 yesterday. plus, yes. And, and the best part is when I did and my... it's only a new meetup. That yes, was it's there. brand new. It was the first real yeah. meetup from Bitcoin Cash. Before that, I did a test. I, what I did was uh, give people only two days of notice and I see just testing water. Yeah. And when I did the first one, 10 people came. And, 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 and the, to compare that to the silver side, night and day difference yeah. and this is the re and also another thing i noticed and this is very important information for everybody when i talk to people who i never met before like uh, in the hotel in the uh, uh, retail business i try both i sometimes talk to people about my silver investment sometimes tell people about my crypto investment nobody cares about my silver everybody when they hear the word bitcoin they, they want to know more straight away and the younger they are the more they want to go into bitcoin 
and like and I have no trouble keeping people away with Bitcoin and the younger they are the easier to convert them. However, silver, nobody's interested. I even tried to give away a silver coin. Do you know that I had people re declining my silver coin? Yeah, I've seen some videos like this yeah. on YouTube. They That's don't crazy. really know what it, they're getting. No, they uh, I think I've seen one, they yeah. tried off them like a silver bar or yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. I watched a that freaking one too. chocolate yes, bar yes, or yes. something. They took the chocolate bar. <laughs> yes. I saw that one. Yes. Seriously, it's crazy. But I tell you guys, um, Social media is behind crypto. And in the crypto social media, what we are gonna do is change the landscape. Because so far we've been quiet. One reason it's been quiet, I personally been quiet in 2020, you know why? I was buying. So I don't want to pump the price until I'm finished buying, right? I started I started into this thing in 2018. And in, my journey is very simple. When I made my first videos talking about 1000X and Bitcoin Cash, I haven't started buying yet because I was very concerned someone might right. accuse me of insider trading. So I made an announcement video first, then I started selling my yeah. asset, then I started buying the Bitcoin cash. Right, okay. So you can't claim that I was manipulating the market. I basically pre-announced my all intentions. So, But that was at, at the beginning of the process. However, over the period of two years, I was buying. And in 2020, I see the market is flat but stable. That's the perfect sign for me as an old trader to know this is the bottom. And when you're at the bottom, you don't stir up the market. What you do is just keep buying quietly, quietly, quietly. There was, there's very little liquidity. This is another thing people don't understand. The actual the physical liquidity in Bitcoin Cash is very, very small. Yeah. Because for whales like you and me, when we buy our coin, we don't get rid of them. We only spend them. We don't sell them. And not not sure about you. Do you sell your Bitcoin cash? Uh, I only sell what I need to spend that I cannot spend directly. <laughs> exactly. You are not selling it because uh, you think it's the top now. Therefore, no. you cash out. Uh, no, I uh, can tell you that I actually held on to all my coins throughout the bear market the last couple of years. Exactly. I didn't sell exactly. Any. Yeah. And, and, and I don't trust any of these stable coins either. Oh, like, uh, they're scared. Yeah, in the short term you could uh, buy and sell and yeah. make a more profit or whatever. Yeah. But uh, I just, based on principle, I just decided to yeah. boycott that. Yeah. Uh, for my perspective, I did my research on Tether. That's the reason why my first video in Bitcoin space was about Tether. But I couldn't say something like Tether is a scammer out right. I didn't have physical evidence. But now if you do research, watch the latest video from CoffeeZilla. He made a very good 38 yeah. minutes video about Tether being a scam. I guarantee you guys Tether is a scam. And guess what's going to happen? When the scam exceeds the market, those coins that got pumped by Tether is going to drop. Mm. But those coins that's didn't BTC. get... Yeah, that's BTC <laughs> and actually to a certain extent Ethereum as well. They, they were looking for illiquidity. They didn't care about the coin. They cared about the liquidity and branding. Now that money comes out, guess what? Where the money will go is go to the place where you actually can spend your coins, which means Bitcoin Cash. So my prediction is very bold here. I believe the money that comes out of the Tether deflation will go straight into the next most liquid asset, which is Bitcoin Cash. So I believe this is the starting point of a major bull run in Bitcoin Cash. And uh, end of this year, what's your prediction for end of year price? Oh, I've been saying at least like 3,000 I had predicted. Um, so we'll have to see where things go. It did already okay. go up to like 1,700, I think, yeah. US dollars. Yes, yes. So, so okay. we got more than halfway there and right. um, now it's fallen down a bit. But okay. who knows, there's still more than six months left. Okay, cool. Year, so. so Hayden, basically my book is a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the bull. Okay. Yeah. His bear case. Oh, is I'm three definitely thousand. bullish, but I think it's more of a long-term thing yeah, at this yeah, stage. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was If you asked me back in 2017, <laughs> yeah. I would have said, yeah, Bitcoin Cash is going to defeat Bitcoin, yeah. like straight away, and yeah. uh, that did not happen. So, still, I think in the long term, it's like the obvious choice. Yes, absolutely. And um, uh, I, I tell you guys, I'm the the real bullish guy here. End of this year, I think five six thousand dollars easily achievable. Yeah. And by next year, we're probably looking at ten thousand dollars. And uh, 2025, you guys know my number, half a million dollar coin. And well, the, that would be insane. <laughs> yeah, it is insane simply because most people are, haven't figured out what Bitcoin Cash is for yet. They only see the layer one solution as fin payment. Yeah. We're going to have so many layer two solutions on top of that. It's like saying internet for you sending emails. Yeah, do you just send emails on internet? No, you do everything. Look, you guys are watching us on uh, on internet. But if I tell you, when I started with internet, we we took it took us like half a minute just to download a text. That's how slow it was. So that's the difference. And 
I, I, I tell you guys, um, most people do not understand Bitcoin yet. And this is going to be the revolutionary year. 2021 is the equivalent of 2011 in BTC space. 2021 is the BCH year. This is the breakout year. We already started out the year one before. January to now, look at the performance difference. It's crazy different. It's good. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, watch We're out. just like way too early to the yeah, party. I think exactly. That, We're just too it early is. at the party. It's still like, empty. The party's empty. I don't have that much like uh, investing experience. You have way more than me. I'm only 24. Exactly. He looks. So he looks mature. But I'm he's kind of going through yes. going through this stuff for the first time, I guess. And it yes, takes a, a lot longer to play out than you would yes. think it does. Yes. So yes. Uh, yeah, I think that's really what's happening. Yes. That, uh, in my opinion. That, uh, Hayden couldn't uh, say this any better than I could do it because he represents the next generation of investors. For me, he is basically the, the new generation. I'm the old school. However, from the old school perspective, markets are always the same. Yeah. Because regardless of Bitcoin or Amazon or Apple shares, they all follow the same pattern. And uh, initially, very few people participate. We are right now in the stealth mode, but we're coming out of stealth mode now. We're literally yeah. coming out. And that's the reason my video is getting so much traction. That's the reason so many people are getting into Bitcoin space. But very soon, these things go super exponential. That's the like the, like the vir viral growth phase. And this is happening starting this year. And next three to four years, the, we are gonna go through hyper growth. And that hyper growth, not just depending on people like us, but more depending on you, the viewer and participant in the Bitcoin Cash Network. You are the one responsible for the growth in your local area. And this is my parting word for today. Please take my example. I start my channel with just one phone and one tripod. You can do the same. Everyone's got a phone. Yeah, exactly. You have a phone, you have your friends. Send everybody five cents. Don't, not too much, okay? Send them five cents and ask them, challenge them. Can you do the same with any other crypto you know? And I bet with you, they can't. Yeah, so this is the easiest way to get in the hook. If you like your friend a lot, give them one dollar. If you love your friend like crazy, give them ten dollars. Well, one yeah. thing that we do um, up where I live because we have yeah. lots of local merchants. Yeah. We, I will like tip them enough to go and buy like a coffee or a drink, yeah. Yeah. and I say go to this business and spend. Oh, perfect! And so, so it good. also supports yeah. the yeah. local businesses. Yes. That, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, accepting Bitcoin cash. Wow, that that's an amazing plan. I think so I'm gonna do that plan. soon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank you, Hayden. This was an <laughs> amazing um, uh, lunch time, and uh, we are now gonna go to a different location, secret location for our actual lunch. Uh, we're here literally just to enjoy the view, nice breeze, and everything. Yes. And um, hopefully next time I see you in Townsville because I do plan to come to Townsville to check out your Bitcoin Cash City. I've never been to Townsville. Anytime you more than welcome we'll um you know we'll treat you like royalty when you arrive oh no 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 no, no. you treat me like every other bitcoiner yeah. oh that's how we treat them all exactly <laughs> if you are in bitcoin cash you are the royalty that's what we uh we want to say here all right thanks very much and thanks for watching us and see you in the next one